There's a special bond between Ilona Mazor and her seven-month-old puppy. He's from a litter that her husband Alexei found near the front line and took care of just a few days before he was killed. This puppy was my husband's favorite, she tells us, and he helps me cope with the loss. A combat medic, they got married in March of this year and he was killed in June. Unfortunately, there are some people who act like the war is somewhere else and not here. They don't know what loss is and don't understand the price we pay. This wall of remembrance in Kyiv is a tribute to soldiers who have been killed in the conflict since 2014. More pictures have been added since the start of this full-scale war, especially in recent months, by families who want to remember their loved ones. The government won't say how many Ukrainian soldiers have died so far, but it's thought to be in the tens of thousands. And as this war grinds on, there'll be many more, which means thousands more widows. At this art therapy class, war widows are able to express their feelings on canvas. Yevhenia Parkomenka chose to paint goldfish, which were her husband's passion. When we visited like some zoo or botanical garden, there was like lakes with uh, this kind of fishes. He always like had some moments of meditation. This organization alone supports 2,500 widows and their families. We understand that no one will replace such brave men, and so for the country it's a tragedy. But someday the war will end, and women like us will be needed to revive the country. So we have to be strong. An unknown number of widows, but all dealing with incalculable loss. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kyiv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.